Hello there, people decided to this video. We're back with the Technomancer where we left off. I put on all my new armor and shit. Hi. Wanted to get this, but the video was too long. What would you go for? The is the are the oh, I don't want to go there. Control before the shit hits the fan. <laughs> Unlikely. High commands about as interested in the slums as they are the underworks. Why try to spit shine a turd? And what's it to you anyway? As it goes, little nuisances have a way of becoming big problems over time. Proliferation. And I'd be oh, willing to pay a nip it in the bud now, before they start to hit our warehouses and personnel, too. Well, you'd have more luck killing them in their nests than hunting them one by one. Or you could booby trap the tunnels and catch the rats while they roam. Your call. That second one sounds easier. Do you still have more to say? The traps to Ryan's steward. Hi. Lieutenant, how can I help you? You want traps? Made the traps you suggested. Now they just have to be set to catch the locusts. Do I have to put them? And I'll make sure they find their way to the tunnels. Ah, good. Keep the filthy things from reaching the surface and poaching our goods. And Lieutenant, thank you for caring. The poorest of us rarely get shown such concern. It's your lucky day. I My need lucky a favor, day. If you have the time, on top of the missions the captain already gave you. Depends on the favor. And they say camera Soldiers angles. Soldiers back from the front are barricaded inside the warehouse. But they think Aurora's outside and they're in the middle of a war zone. They've terrorized the Are you stupid? But honestly, that's not even the worst of it. According to internal reports, they're not just soldiers. <gasps> they're test subjects for a new combat drug that increases their strength tenfold. Oh, the drug is probably a result of the drug, but it makes the situation even more dangerous. Oh, you don't say. If you could reason with them, you could use force. But in their state, the drugs could push them over the edge. A straight up fight could kill them. First things first, we need to help get them quarantined and away from civilians to prevent further collateral damage. I know you're up to your neck in other responsibilities, but please, this is a favor for me and a favor for the guys. If the ASC handles it instead, I know I'm going to be writing letters of condolences. Don't let it come to that. How does he think a noob who's not even a real soldier will be able to reason with a corporal hopped up on some super drug? He uh, knows noob. no answers are magicians, right? Pipe down, Lieutenant will find a way. Maybe we just need to find the Corporal's family to help talk him down. Look at me, <laughs> I'm just full of ideas. I'm just full of ideas. I was gonna say I didn't need those traps, but now we're in a whole different mission. What is this? Soldier, please let me in. It's imperative it's open. I speak to someone. Ma'am, your husband. He's one of the soldiers who returned yesterday? Yes! I'm Corporal Tyrone Ward's wife. So he is back? Why haven't I been permitted to see him? What's wrong? Ah, uh, he's hopped up on drugs. He's safe, but he's scared. Paranoid. Suffering severe post-traumatic stress. So what I need for you to do is tell me something. Anything that might help me convince him to listen. Before he gets himself killed. Tell him I'm here. Tell him I'm waiting to see him. Dying to see him. Tell him about the ribbon he sent me for my hair, and, and that it's not just me waiting anymore. <laughs> he's... we're... going to have a child soon. <laughs> well, that was easy. No, not you. Not that either. What is this? Iron Master Kana. All sense of here. I might as well do that mission for that weirdo and over there. Merchant guy. I remember. Let me in. Don't care. Damn it. Master Connor isn't in the chapel. Fuck. The Great Master will know where he is. Hey, old Great Master. Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? Where Connor? What about the Kakanas? Uh, 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 missions. I'm looking for Master Connor. Any idea where I can find him? He headed down to the Underworks. 
Needed Wait. to get some supplies from our warehouses. Wait. If you're going there, take the elevator near the barracks. Opens up close to the warehouses and will save you some time. It's a real maze down there. Am I not Thanks for the tip. I'm out of here. Now I can go over there. Should I go bid Sean a farewell first? What's this? Ross is soldier from their hideout. That's over there. Let's go do those. I'm saying goodbye to Sean because he's fucking leaving and I need to tell him about the other scientist. Motherfucker really going to the front lines. Zachariah. Oh, so okay. Captain told you I was heading out, did she? I should be grateful. It is good to see you. Wait. Perhaps for the last time. I'm leaving for the front, as is expected. I wish. You're not the person I thought you were. Longer. I th wish that I could as well, cliff. if not only to appease my concern for you. But their will moves more than my desire, so they separate us, as they always have, to keep us divided. Damn. And I fear to further isolate you. Fog. Stay wary. Why Mind me? You. you are in their sights, my dear Zachariah. Oh. You are the newest initiate, the youngest, and so to them the most attainable, the shortest route to knowing our secret. <gasps> Such is our world. We are pawns in a chess game played by imbeciles, a bunch of fools. to nothing but illusions of power. The real power that illusion brings. Take care, Zachariah. Take care. I will, my word. Until we meet again, Master. I'm afraid this is more of a farewell. Oh. And it's Sean. Forgive me not. Why your motherfucker so poetic and shit? <laughs> Fuck. That might be a thumbnail right there. It is always sad to see a friend leave. No. Especially when you know that he's going to risk his life every day. You must be feeling very lonely. It is up to you to <laughs> earn a new friend to support you through hard times. Nah. A friend powerful enough. Have you thought about my request? What's a little secret shared against a strong friendship, after all? I would be honored to have you among my friends, Colonel. But, alas, I don't know what secret you're alluding to. I'm sorry. A pity indeed. Because you will find out <laughs> soon enough that while I can be a great friend, I can also be a fierce enemy. Fog. See you later, Lieutenant. All right, bye. Damn you and your fancy jacket and neck piece. Soldiers of this way. Lock your fucking bullet. Get his ass, get his ass. Gang up on him. Run his pockets. Yes. 
check if anything else here. They're inside. Let's drop them all fucking save. Chat. Your wife is pregnant. You chat? Sure, why not? Not like we're at war here. Let's just have a goddamn tea party. No need for the blast. Whatever you want to chat about. Oh shit, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I didn't see your stripes. Your uniform threw me off, sir. My mistake. Hey, we better be it's apologizing. Fine, Corporal, stand down. Listen, Corporal, you're confused. You're scared, and I get that. Not a lot is making sense to you now. But you have to trust me. You're back in Ophir. And your wife, Maya, she's worried about you. Maya? How the hell do you know my wife's name? Did you do something to... Your wife's fine, Corporal. She even told me about that ribbon you sent her. She mm. told you about the ribbon? I, I don't... The ribbon? I don't understand. There was a goddamn war Ooh. raging out there. I heard it. We were under siege. If we're in Ophir, you're telling me it's under siege? No, it stupid. Was. The fighting's done. Oh, I guess it was. You held the warehouse like men, so just relax and return to your barracks. Rest. Chill out. Wife. She has some good news for you. Good news? Of what? Baby. That's kind. Trust me. The kind that'll be a reason to stay safe. Stay alive. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Men. Listen up. Lower your arms. We're heading back to the barracks. Give me that helmet. Double. Ooh, box. Yeah. What we got? Yeah. Come on now. Fortunately, this Fuck. is beyond my skill level. Everything always is. May I should actually go deal with the homeless, the homeless problem. Can I go through here, man? All right, you homeless motherfuckers, get out of here! We don't want your kind around here. Is it you? Hey, hey, mister. You got some serum, mister? I'll give you ten no, serum I to don't. fuck off. You folks gotta clear out. Let's go. Come on. We gotta... You gonna protect us if we do? Oh, let's work. No, but I'm sure you'll be fine. No. <laughs> yeah, you think? We leave, the smuggler will kill us. Smuggle the these nuts. I ain't never had no serum to travel, but it ain't stopped me from wanting to. And when I heard about this smuggler feller who might help, might even help make me a merchant, you know, the traveling kind, I thought my dreams were in reach, ended up a nightmare. Made me sign these papers, see? And after I'd done it, threatened to say I was one of them rebels or worse. Said they'd execute me. And if I didn't do what he said, didn't steal for him in the exchange, but I wasn't no good at it, see? And he wasn't too happy with me for it. So he cut my arm off. No. Took me to beg on the streets and bring him back whatever I made to stay put. The demon knows he's a missing life. life. That's what you call this. The hell's this world coming to? When is this world coming to? Yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh, garbage. No. Serum, sir. Got a drop for a poor woman. You missing an arm too? No, I don't. You gotta move it along, pal. Where you want me to go? One block over, any better for you? Charisma 50%. I'm sorry. I am. 
I get it. Life's kicked you in the balls, and you're just trying to survive. And if you were the only one begging these streets, it'd be different. But you're not. It's you and countless others making it really hard for the merchants to conduct their business. Merchants who, if I don't get you out, are more than willing to ask much less kindly. So I'm just asking you to move it somewhere else. Come on, 50%. Keep your fake pity to yourself. Fuck you. You're no different than the merchants. And you care about the seer. They... Now I gotta threaten your life. Hear him, sir? No, I don't. Where do you want me to go? Look, buddy, you look a little worse for wear, and I feel for you. Really. I'm not in the mood, so let's just move it along before I lose my patience. What are you gonna do? Beat up a brave war vet who lost his arm on the front? Yes. I'm just trying to raise enough serum to... Sure. I don't like this mission. I thought I was going to go after this smuggler guy, but I don't want to beat up homeless people. Why couldn't the fifty percent work? Bullshit. Hi, Lieutenant. How can I Hi. help? Hi. I did what I needed to do. I solved your problem, Quartermaster. Solved your Is problem. Is that so? And how'd it go? Good. No lives lost. But if we don't find an antidote to the drug, I doubt those men will see a day outside a cell for the rest of their lives. Thanks, Lieutenant. We owe you one. A friend of mine working on the test actually sent us a sample, and we should be able to make an antidote with it. Eventually, I hope. Give me the sample. I know someone who could probably find the cure quickly. Thank you, Lieutenant. If he succeeds, he will help us out a lot. Here, take this. Ask Scott for an antidote. Where the fuck is Scott? Been looking for him. He is in the slums, right? Oh, hold on. And my character was tired. This also gets me some extra XP. You are now rested. Experience bonus time. the under place the shitty place the bad place the place with the monsters the place with explosives set up that I gave to a man Stolen. You don't need this. 
Ooh. It said it was actually better, so. I finally changed out this shit. It'd be like that. way cooler. What the hell? There's demons. the shit out of these monsters. Zep. Connor, hello. My hello. Dear, dear Zachariah, a pleasure as always to see you, and my gratitude for your help. Now, please, stop calling me Master. You're one of us now. But it what says Master Connor down there. I met a merchant fresh off the exchange who'd like to meet you. Strange. Some delivery I'm not expecting, or something else. He only said he had information to give. Didn't say what, but I thought maybe there was a chance he learned something about some relics during his travels. Relics are more of the great master's field of expertise than mine. I like to stick to molding our young recruits, but come, come. Let us see what this is all about. Come, come. You come with me? Hold on while I skin these creatures. They don't need to live. Suffer not the mole men to live. I don't even know what these are. I, didn't, I wasn't looking at their name. I was scared for my life. Also, I leveled up. I'm going straight into here. To run while parrying. Sure. Suffer not the mold meant to live. My exact same feelings in Fallout 76. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is Fuck. beyond my skill level. Where'd he go? Anything else to do down here? I thought I did. Switch to different maps. I guess I'll just go back. I don't know what's going on, but this is weird. Never mind, all right. Follow Master Connor to the exchange to make sure nothing happens to him. Nah, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's a master and whatnot. A master Jedi. Oh, there you are. Boop, beep, beep, boop. Master Jedi. General Kenobi. Lucky. 
Easy fella. I'm glad you know where we're going. Ooh. Trophy on Raider of the Lost Ark. Do you see him? Do you see him? Am I in your way? I guess you didn't see him. Do you see him? Can we go already? He's like down there. Finally. Now place the B. Discreetly listen to Lucky and Connor's conversation. Let me stand between them then. Save the game. Nah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Like stand back here or something? Oh, there. Is it really you, Andrew? Can it really be? I hate to disappoint Master Connor, but I don't die easy. Oh. And I have a little too much pride to just let myself be tossed out with the trash. We got some explaining to do. We did not toss you out with the trash. We just did not know how to help you. Your talents were uncontrollable. So we sent you away, hoping you would forget and move on. Hoping I'd forget? When? As ten years of my life wasted Where away does arm in the go? hands of a merchant? And what my God Do you always have not have an arm? I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could make it up to you. I, I don't know. But you can be damn sure I'll think of something. Get out. Andrew, I cannot tell you how remarkable to see you. Simply remarkable. Pardon me, Zachariah. You cannot know how unexpected this was. Thank you. I must now return to the source. The source. Mm, who'd have fucking thought it? A technomancer spying on other technomancers. Crazy shit right there. From where I've stood, it looks like you were all stuck together tight as hell. Shows what I know. Shows what you shot. know. Oh. I'm just shocked, Lieutenant, that's all. Shocked and, uh, just shocked. I guess I'm not gonna talk to him. He doesn't look like he was there. Shocked and shocked. Get it? Because you're a technomancer and you use electricity? <laughs> Real piece of work. There's two exclamation points in there. And there's apparently someone in the void over there. No, actually, it looks like there's a door. What was all that about? Zachariah, a pleasure as always. What may I do for you? Well, like a imperial Japanese soldier. Uh, Andrew. Does the name Andrew mean anything to you? Huh. Hmm. Huh. One might as well inquire if my own name bears meaning for me. How could it not? For with that name is resurrected horrible memories of a horrible scar that <gasps> cuts across the school's otherwise illustrious history. Scars that share a similar depth and origin as that which cuts across your face. Damn. What have you forgotten? He enrolled the same time as you, found his roots in outsiders just like you, but his family were traitors. From the beginning of his apprenticeship, we found ourselves at a loss. How much of his excess fluid should be drained? Hey, yo. Needless to say, we misjudged. 
His potential to be the greatest among us was forever lost and turned against us in a torrent of chaos as students like yourself Damn. fell under the debris. Fog. Then what happened to him? He lost an arm in the accident huh. and did not survive. Uh, I don't know about that last part. Well, I guess we're done with that. See you later. Come on. Let's see who the fuck's standing in the void over here. Bring her down. I really have to go around the long way. Real piece of work. No strangers want to talk to me this time. Kick down that ladder. If y'all don't, there's a lot of people back here. A little box. Stolen. See who this asshole is. Hmm. Got vent creatures. Pretty sus. Nisha. Oh, she's in the fancy building, not back here. I so I'll just. I always wanted to see who was in the big building. Oh, is she one of the people I uh, escorted earlier? Officer? You, Officer! Could I ask you a favor? That's all ever people want of me. Officer Zachariah Manser, a sight for sore eyes. Our hero, brave and strong. Hey, you know, I'll be... I like where this is going. Hey, yo. <laughs> well, you know, you were just so nice, and if you wanted, if you had time, I know you're probably busy, but if you did... Get on with it. What? I'm just glad you came to see me. I was just thinking about you. feel hey, like yo. you may be the only guy who could help me. Why? With the what? What's going on? What do you want from me? I just don't have a lot of friends in Ophir. Never really had time for them, but one of the few I have, Abby Goodsman, owns a stall. She's a great girl. Lately, though, she's been scared for her life. Soldiers Damn. have been trying to extort her for serum. They Fog. tore down her stall and threatened all sorts of horrible things when she wouldn't pay. That's As pretty an officer, cringe. I was hoping you could find out who these wicked men are and figure out why they're messing with a good girl like Abby. Please. I'm really terrified for her. If you're positive they're soldiers, that's weird. Yeah, I'll look into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I knew you were a good guy. Hey, yo. You're not really like everyone else, are you? You're not like the other girls. Uh, you're so courageous. Kept a level head in the attack. The politicians lost their shit. You kept cool. Maybe a hard life like mine prepares you for anything. Or maybe I just had more faith in your abilities than they did. Appreciate it. Alright, bye. Alright. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Would hate to lose a guy like you around here. You soldiers got anything to say about the, the soldiers uh, extorting people?
guess not. I thought I saw like X like markers in there. Now they're gone. Where are we going? All the way down there. I'm just gonna avoid the homeless problem. Just like the government. <laughs> Excuse me. You Abby Goodsman. You got yes, the goods, I, man. By the shadow, please don't tell me that man sent you. Oh, no, man. your friend Nisha, the artist, sent me. Said she thought you artist. were in trouble. It looks like she was right. Hi. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. They're ruining my life. I'm being threatened by soldiers who tore down my shop. Why? Because they wanted serum I don't even have. And if I didn't give it to them, they said they'd denounce me. For what? I never did anything bad. Yeah, I believe you. You sure they were real soldiers, though? Could have been mobsters in disguise. All I know is their uniforms sure looked real, and their chief told me to call him Sam Ward. He's sick. You hear me? Sick. A brutal... Please help me. The threats keep coming, and I'm telling you, they're gonna kill me. I know it. It's all right. Everything will be okay. I'm gonna look for this Sam Ward. Talk to him. Talk to my captain about him too. I'll get it worked out. Don't worry. Sam, what does Thank he? Thank you. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. Going all the way back there now. Hey, yo, Captain. Cause some bullshit. Who's this Samuel Ward? Who the fuck are you? Hey, yo, you soldier. Know been threatening Abby Goodsman. <laughs> really? What? That bitch complained to the great magicians? Oh. Hey, perfect. You know what she's up to? She's anti-regime, and <laughs> she's plotting against abundance. Prove it. True fucking story. Your little oh, friend's okay. a traitor, Mancer. Too bad your powers don't include lie detection, huh? <laughs> so For real. Who cares? We put a little pressure on her, milk her a little mm. bit before the ASC catches her. So what? She deserves it. All she needed to do was be loyal to the damn corporation that raised her. Watch your back. If someone heard about you being friendly with some of the oppositionists like that girl, let's just say it won't end well. They may be like that. Who is motherfucker back here? Hmm. Rolls. Did I search it? Nothing came up. Do I have a passcode? No. The hell was that? Hello. Yeah. Hey, yo. You already back, Lieutenant Zakharov? I got other problems of whatever, whatever you told me to do. Captain, can I get some intel on a couple citizens? As long as it's mission related, Lieutenant. Aw. Uh. What do you know about a soldier named Sam Ward? Not a lot. The little I know is nothing good. Mostly Damn. about the company he keeps, like Vori. Not enough to arrest him, but enough to be glad he's not one of my problems. Word to the wise, which I hope you are. 
Stay away eh. from him unless you're looking for the kind of trouble you can't dig your way out of. Of course, Captain. The name is Abby Goodsman. Goodsman. She's a trader with a small shop in the exchange quarter. No arrests, no complaints, no bookmark by the ASC. You said this was mission related, Lieutenant? Of course, Captain. Just following up on some leads. Keep an eye on the soldier behind the threats. The one that was standing over there. I don't think he's standing over there anymore. He is not. I just take the back door. That was much easier. You know what I feel like doing? Paying a what? visit to that pretty Abby girl. Hey, yo. Yeah. Chick didn't learn her lesson after we tore down her shop. Maybe we could teach her a lesson in some other ways. Hey, yo. <laughs> sick. You're sick. But it's a sick I wouldn't mind catching. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. Why not? Damn pretty girl. I'll grab Chris and we'll make it a party. Not Creel. Hey, nice. sounds good. I think. Sh sh shut up. I hear something. Those standing right there. All right. Pretty simple. Just gotta stop the soldier so he can't make good on his threats. Three hours. You know something? Huh? It's assholes like them who screw up our reputations. They deserve every damn bit of beating we're gonna give them. For once we agree on something. So the way three hours? Hey, stop it! Soldiers, cut it out! Who the hell do you think you are? Trying Your to give mama. me orders, Mancer? I don't report to you, and you don't have a damn clue what's going on here. We'll take what we're owed from the broad and leave it for Jen if we want. We clear? Or we ain't. did we misunderstand and you just want to join us in the beatdown? <laughs> I'm gonna beat you down. <laughs> We've gotten good with that parry. You didn't even hit me, asshole. Dead. How do I thank you for for everything you've done for me? I Money? Don't, if there is anything, anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Thank you. Time to run they pockets. Cause she didn't give me anything else. Oh, uniform pants, mm, yes. Those are four of you. Now oh, there you are. Run your shit. No, you go all my all the way back now. You know what they do? Saved your friend. Why? I don't know. Well, well, day's looking up already. Uh, I took care stuff. of your friend's problem. The soldiers yeah. won't be bothering Abby anymore. It's or I'll beat him again. Thank you. That's really nice of you to help two ladies needing a hand. You're a real That's what I do. Really hope I can repay you in the future. I'll never forget what you did. So how's life? Can I ask how you ended up becoming an artist? That's a long story, officer. I don't have time Not then. <laughs> kind. Don't want to depress you. I got all night. Oh, I wanted to right. say that. <laughs> okay. You asked for it. I got left alone when I was young. Parents That's died, crazy. so I was forced out on the streets. Damn. One of Ooh. a thousand orphans like me. Did a lot of stuff I wasn't proud of, but had to to get by. You know? 
Damn. Then I got lucky, and the center took me in. Gave me food and clothes and an education and hope. And a purpose once they taught me music. And confidence once they told me I was talented. So, when I was old enough to leave the orphanage, I got lucky and met some other musicians who gave me a lot of help. Ended up performing in some bars around the slums. Not glamorous, but I got lucky, and it got me here. So, maybe the story's not so sad after all. I don't even know what kind of artist she was. For some reason, I thought she was a painter. I gotta go. Okay, bye. All right. Well, maybe I'll see you again soon. Be careful. Yeah, well, you already just said that. I wish I could just fast on those places. What missions do I got? Rover hangar. Enter the repair area. Excavation site. It's the rover hangar in the slums. Guess we'll find out. What's that? Hmm. Now we're going to the slums. Slum dog millionaire. Get my hands on a rover. No dog. Really wish that fifty percent worked. Okay, which one which one? Which? Black Dahlia Gang. That's where Scott is. I need to talk to you, damn it. Let's deal with a filthy gang over here. Come on. What's going on over here? Let's go. <clears throat> Beat you up, I don't know. Mara? You want Mara? What are you? Fuck. Fuck it. Ain't my fight. You'll find her there if you want to find her. Hope she gives you what you're looking for. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, see you later. I can't put the map properly. I don't know how to put away weapons. That works. This is really something, ain't it, Lieutenant? Getting revenge for an attack on fear, smack dab in the Aurora front. Taking a rover too. Imagine my luck. I've never ridden in one before. I'm terribly grateful for this whole thing. I mean, come on! You're still Not every day gets sent out on a heroic top-level mission with Amelia <laughs> Reacher. Have you met her before? She's no. She's an adventurer. Goes out That's into crazy. the world and discovers mines and all sorts of stuff. I've heard about her. Know everything everyone else does. I guess I've heard of her. Strange facing off Aurora troops right in the middle of their territory. First frontline experience, huh? Maybe it'll give you a bit of insight as to how it feels to be a dog in the military. Damn. Anyway. 
looking for your ass. Hi, Scott. Hello, my boy. How are you? Nothing broken, I hope. Not that I know of. Uh, Charles disappears. I'm sorry, Scott. You were right to worry about your friend. I'm tired According again. To his assistant, it seems that he had problems. He was quite critical of the corporation. And you know how dangerous it's been lately. How crazy. How crazy he was. He should have just stuck to his research. How foolish to meddle with politics. So he foolish. Was a very good researcher, you know? He made real progress on the settlers' genetic origins. How sad. And that poor woman who must be worried, sick. Listen, I thought... Anyway, maybe you could... What's going on? What do you want now? I know that I'm asking a lot of you, but I was wondering if maybe... You could continue to investigate. You are someone important now. You know a lot of people. They can tell you if Veronica's suspicions are justified. I can probably talk about it with my captain, or tap into some contacts in the know. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I want to be sure, you see. I think that you need to recover his latest research. I strongly believe that. Sounds like a lot of work. I said, he found something dangerous. The ASC. They're thugs. We must not allow sensitive scientific research to fall into their hands. The risks are too high. I'll see what I can do, but I doubt that Veronica will give me Charles's documents willingly. She's very protective of her boss's work. I had to go through multiple fucking Hi, talk. What's it called? Hello, my boy. How Persuasions. Are you? Nothing broken, I hope. I, uh, make make antidote. I make drug. drug that was administered to the soldiers. We absolutely need an antidote. Can you do that? Of course. You know, you could have probably made it yourself. Huh. You would listen to the science lessons I was trying to teach you. Eh. Oh well, you preferred to throw lightning bolts. I remember <laughs> that time. Scott, call me Palpatine. I don't know. Can I get an antidote? You think that I'm senile? You'll see. Give me some time. How long? Take this. Never well, mind. <laughs> I made you one dose, and I wrote down the formula on it. Take an impossible for making others. Thank you, Scott. Okay, bye. Don't got much time left. I kind of want to see what this is about, though. How's it going? Hey. Ah, communist propaganda. Hmm. Hey, you, a technomancer, right? Get the hell out of here. You surge around here, you're gonna oh, fuck okay. up my baby for good. Uh, just like you don't spontaneously combust, we don't spontaneously surge. Is that you on the poster? Yeah, name's Amelia Reacher. We're just I just put my hat back on. Father like daughter. Why? What's it to you? Well, me and my men need to get to a site on one of Aurora's shadow paths. Heard you'd make that happen. Wish they gave me a heads up a Mancer was coming along. But orders are orders. I can take you whenever you're ready. Well, let's go. Let's go. First rover trip? Yeah, first time this far from Ophir. Nice! How's it feel? Oh, it's exciting, it's frightening. Say that you don't care. Realistically, I don't care, but... Eh. Exciting, I guess. A little terrifying to go this far without having the protection of a shadow path, but life's about the adventure, isn't it? Took the words out of my mouth. That's why I love my job so much. Life's too damn short to play it safe. You guys doing okay? Nervous about the fights we're gonna face? The fights? What fights? I did not leave my home and laboratory to foray into battle, child. Did someone tell me this? Because I don't recall being... We needed a doctor with us, Scott. I just... I... Yes, I understand. I do. But you know, fighting is... It's a dangerous... People get hurt, and I... I guess that's why... I mean, of course, I will care. But no fighting means no wounds to you. Yeah, I, I can't lie. Yeah, it scares me. How big's the fight we're looking at? Aurora's troops and Technomancers. We'll have to be tactical about it. Hit them in small groups, since there's not a lot of us. But we stick to that plan, and we should be fine. Sure, yeah. I I'm sure once we get there, and we get to doing and not just thinking, I I'll be fine. It's the thinking that wreaks havoc on it. Say my first rodeo, Lieutenant. 
Being on a rover is pretty neat and all, but still, no different from past missions. Hit an enemy, get hit back. Find ourselves down deep in shit creek and then wait for backup. Simple as. In other words, it always goes tits up. But when you've been in the bad long enough, you get used to it. Did you just call my baby pretty neat? That's it? Pretty neat? Damn. I, mean, I didn't mean it's swell. Real swell. <laughs> Holy shit. I think you guys fucked this fucker from the farm before he was right. Damn. <laughs> You call them stupid. You call really them just shows how big a scale Aurora thinks on. All right, let's focus on finding the tunnel entrance. The tunnel entrance. Look at this map right here. It ain't even that big. What's this? I guess that's my other mission. I don't know. But I got like three minutes left four minutes left so I'm gonna end the episode here uh, join me next time where I'll be doing this maybe if there is a next time like subscribe to the video see you next time where I'll be doing what I just said yeah it'll be like that see you then or not God bless <laughs>